this furniture here it's like a patio furniture i don't even know what it is so it's like a bookshelf this is the library app that uh, lets you deliver items from walmart from best buy from home depot many other places you know and uh Rody, it's a delivery app that if you already have like a side gig like uber eats or or any other type of uh, gig you know road is like the side of a side gig road is not something that you would want to do full time uh the reason being is that uh, number one they don't have uh, delivery availables all the time and number two even when you see the deliveries there and you apply for them you don't always get accepted to give you an example um today at the time of this video i was making this delivery that you're looking at right now for walmart which was uh, a bookshelf the bookshelf you saw at the beginning of the video and uh i applied for three more and i was declined on on those three yesterday also my day off uh, i went and did one in the morning then two in the afternoon and then i applied for two more got accepted got to the walmart location when i got there they told me you know what those items have been picked up already so yeah definitely roadie it's good if you keep to locations near you where you're already close by or if you just want to do it like like a side gig you know like a say you're in the in between deliveries of whatever other stuff you're doing and you see a roadie delivery nearby and you want to go ahead and do it or if you're going somewhere already and the delivery happens to be on the same way then that would be like a like a good idea to give you an example one time in Pahrump, which is a, a small town near here near las vegas i did one uh that it was just a couple pieces of uh fence and put in a pickup truck that i have over there and it was 50 bucks i was already driving in town so it was an easy 50 bucks i've seen others where Home Depot will deliver far away, especially in that location in Pahrump, and they'll pay you like a hundred bucks. So if you're going uh, already in that direction, you're driving on the freeway or the highway, then it, it's a it's a good idea. So yeah, uh, sometimes the small towns because they have they have less drivers or or maybe because the drivers over there then they're not as qualified as far as as far as the background check and stuff like that. Sometimes you get better deals, better gigs in the small towns. So if you live in a small town and and a road is there, it's definitely a good a good way to to earn some extra money. Me personally, I keep um, I keep it just on my day days off. You know, when I'm not doing anything else, I see if there's deliveries, and then I apply for them. It's a way of putting gas in this van that I that I have. Uh, I had other ideas for this van. I have some business ideas, but uh, they they haven't come to fruition. Fruition. I haven't really done them uh, the way I was thinking. You know, I was, I was thinking doing deliveries and a little bit of junk removal and stuff like that on my own on on my time off. But it it hasn't been the way I thought it would be. So I'm just using it right now for making roadie deliveries. And one other one that I have is called uh, it's called Warp. Uh, they do store transfers. Those those are good too, but those are also like once in a while. It's not something you you do every single day. But anyhow, yeah. So that's uh, Roadie in a nutshell. I'm gonna put some video here of the app. The app uh, is just like any other app. You download it, put all your info. Do a, they do a background check. You put your social there. Um, then when the background check comes back, then you're ready. You take a picture of yourself and stuff like that. One thing Rody does not do is that they don't really care what car you drive. You put a description of what car you're driving. Like say, it'll say pickup truck. It'll say cargo van and stuff like that. They don't really care, you know, for, for the car. They're not going to ask you for specifics. They will require insurance, of course, you know, liability insurance, driver's license, all that. But as, uh, bank account information, they pay you every Thursday. 
So whatever you made up to that Tuesday of that week, you, you get it on, on Thursday. And uh, so, yeah, as far as, as the actual car you're driving, they don't, really, they don't really care. You can go in actually in the app and change the car description. That'll only affect you for, uh, for the types of gigs that they're gonna accept you for, but, but it's not gonna play a difference with them as far as needing the VIN number or the license plate or anything like that. Uh, they don't really care. Road is a UPS company, uh, so it, it is kind of a it is kind of like a serious company. It's not like a Mickey Mouse, you know, stuff. I'm guessing uh, they do what they call last mile with 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 Rody. I don't really know co or commercial deliveries because Walmart also has their own vans. You probably know by now they have this electric uh, transit four four transit vans that they use. So I guess whatever they don't like delivering. On the drivers that don't like it or they don't care for it, they they just do it on roadie. Um, they do have some deliveries that are really bad. Uh, it's coming up on this video. Uh, you know, some you get to apartment complexes and sometimes you get like second story apartments and it's really, really hard. But uh, yeah, so that's roadie in a nutshell. Um, the app itself has good reviews. A lot of people don't like it, um, so but yeah, it's kind of like a like a good way of earning uh, good money. Usually, the gigs are not too far. You're looking at uh, usually that uh, you you go you drive and they'll pay you for a large TV stuff like that. They'll pay you twenty one, twenty twenty dollars, nineteen and stuff like that, or for a large piece of furniture. You know that that's what it'll be. Most of the time, it's, it's, uh, you only need one person. The biggest TVs that I ever delivered with Rody are 75 TVs. Um, so it's still okay, as, as long as you're not going upstairs, it's still good. And they have all the packages. The other day I, I delivered a package. It was, it was just a bag with a couple boxes inside. It was 20 bucks also, so that, that was good. But uh, yeah, most of the time, the, the gigs will say extra large. And those are the ones that are really worth the money. If you have a big truck or, or a van or a pickup truck, because not a lot of people have, have them and that's your chance to really grab them. So yeah, road in a nutshell. This is going to be an apartment complex right here. So it, it's one of the, this, this is one of the worst uh, places to, to deliver, especially when when people, uh, they ordered big TVs, big items, and they live on the second floor. Sometimes there's even a third floor, but uh, they, those usually have elevators, so that that's okay. This one is not gonna have any elevators, so if it's just like a second story apartment, you have to haul the item up the stairs. There's no tip involved, although some people usually do. Sometimes they'll give you a tip, but uh, in this case, I have this furniture here. It's like a patio furniture, I don't even know what it is. So it's like a bookshelf, that's what it is. So, Luckily, I do have my little dolly thing, you know, that I got a Harbor Freight. Um, you can buy one of these cheap for like 20 bucks. Uh, this is the more higher end. Uh, I think it's a thousand pounds capacity. So this is like 40 is still a really good deal. And these really make a difference. You got to wear some gloves and stuff. So basically what you do is just verify the order right there. And then uh, look for the apartment. A, a good piece of advice would be to go on foot first and look at the apartment number where it's, where it's at and then come back and grab everything and go because if you load everything up and us looking around it's it's just gonna be a pain in the butt to, to find it uh, with the heavy item you know uh, so yeah uh, usually when it's a house it's super nice you just go out to the door and leave everything there or in the garage take a picture and go home but um or go to the next order, whatever. But in this case, it's gonna be an apartment. So these these are kind of like the worst. And people do it on purpose too. They they know that uh, once they pay for delivery, it's gonna be up to the delivery guy to deal with whatever. All right.